Hello everybody, it's me again and uh, Happy New Year. It's now the 4th of January 2013 and I hope everybody had a safe new and happy new year. Okay, and I hope everybody has a healthy and prosperous rest of the year. Okay, what I want to talk to you today about is Congressman Tim Scott. Okay, he's a senator in, North Car in South Carolina, that is, South Carolina. Before that he was a representative. Okay, before that he was a business owner. But before that, he was failing in high school. And guess what? He had a teacher. I don't know where he gets the nerve. I don't know where he gets the gall to come up to a young black kid and tell him he can do something for himself. He doesn't have to be in poverty. And he can actually make something of his life. But not only that, this kid had the nerve to believe him. I don't know what he was thinking. But anyways, not only did he believe him, he actually did it. He actually became something. Like I said, a business owner, business owner, and then a representative, and now a senator in South Carolina. How dare him? And not only that, he's a Republican. Now that's what broke the cup. That's what broke the back of the camel. That's the straw that broke the camel's back, right? Because the NAACP is just not having it. As a matter of fact, they launched a campaign. The president of the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, has the nerve to come out and speak against this guy only because he's a Republican. I guess it, it should stand for the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Left-Wing uh, Liberal Democrat dependent on the government colored people because as soon as you decide that you don't need to be dependent on the government And you can actually do something for yourself. They don't want anything to do with you just like the Democratic Party Right, they want to do they want everything to do with you when you're a poor person But as soon as you become a little bit out of that poverty level They want to attach you right back into poverty. So maybe then they can buy your vote Right because as long as they continue to give you things that you don't have to get for yourself You're probably gonna vote for them Okay, and we've already proven that in the last election. Okay, now that's just some of the hypocrisy that's going on this week. Okay, now there's a whole lot of other things. For instance, this new fiscal cliff bill that's supposed to be go raising revenue to pay for what the fi uh, national debt and deficit, right? But yet we're giving some god awful fucking millions of dollars and billions of dollars to Hollywood to help promote their movies, and that's part of the bill, right? They're struggling, right? There's, there's no rich people in Hollywood. Those producers are barely making it. They, they need all the money they can get, and we need to we need to subsidize them. Well, I guess that is the case because we are for some I don't know six hundred and thirty something shit, some big ass number, billions of dollars going to Hollywood for help for help promote their movies, as well as the rum uh, industry. Not all the alcohol, but the rum industry in particular is getting millions of dollars to help promote. Rum. Oh, I guess they need it, right? We don't need to pay off the debt or the deficit. Like he said, we need to give money to these people that actually helped him get elected. And NASCAR, we know they're struggling. No one watches NASCAR, right? They must need all this money that's coming out of the fiscal cliff deal to pay for, I guess, new speedways. You know, because they don't have enough money to pay for that. No, they're not making any money over there in NASCAR. Nope, nope. Anyways, anyways, that's where our taxpayer, that's where our tax uh, dollars are going, right? Now, they said that he's not going to raise taxes for 98% of the people, right? But guess what? 74% of the people do got do have a higher tax in the form of FICA tax. Well, 98 plus 74 makes more than 100. So how are we saving taxes for 98% of the people if we're raising taxes for 74 of them, 75? 75% of them? Anyways, let's just say 70%. Still, that's more than 100%. 70, 98, that's more than 100. Yeah. So where are these other people coming from? If he's saving taxes for everybody else, for 98% of the people, where are the 70% that are paying higher pocket tax coming from, right? Anyways, the math doesn't do the work. It doesn't, it can't, it, I'm confused. Please explain it to me in the comments below. Um, another thing, uh, that's pretty much all I want to talk about is the hypocrisy of the, uh, of the Democratic Party and how they said they're for the people and they're certain these tax cuts, right? They weren't for the poor. They're only for the rich. But yet we we extended them for 98% of the people, the poor people. We extended the uh, tax cuts for the poor people. But if they weren't for the poor people in the first place, how is he extending them for the poor people, right? 
Again, explain it to me in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later.